Hey everybody, we're back. We're back to finish our second half of the chemistry content in our biology course. We can look at this like, dude, awesome. We are already halfway finished with our chemistry. Or we can think about it like, wait a minute, if we have only one more lecture of chemistry, how are we gonna get it all covered? I'm in the second part of that equation wondering, oh man, <laughs> I'm going to start recording this video lecture for you. And uh, if you look at the little menu that's right down here, we have eight topics in today's lecture that are very, very dense. So we're going to start out talking about water. I brought, oh, I brought my friend the water bear <laughs> to ha hang out with us in this introduction because I love that guy. That guy requires water to survive as do all of us. As we learned in the last lecture, he can be um, frozen down to almost absolute zero in that state. I'm sure he's pretty dried out because otherwise, I don't know, I think he might pop. Um, but we're going to learn about water and how all like we can't survive without it. And the fact that water like water is weird. So, yes, we're going to have an entire section just on water related to water. We're going to talk about solutions and how we calculate concentrations of different solutions and why that matters. Then a very important discussion about pH, and we're going to do a little activity in the middle around pH that I'm kind of excited to see what you think of it. And we're going to wrap it up with a, a section, a little clip on each of the four big biomolecules. That's the part probably where I feel like, oh man, can we fit all our biomolecules in on top of a robust conversation about solutions and water and pH. And I think we can do it because all of those pieces tied up together get us into, get us ready for what we need to go into the cell, which is our next topic. And that's where we finally are dealing with things that actually are alive. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go see what kind of environment, let's learn about the environment where our friend, the water bear or moss piglet if you prefer, lives. <laughs> 